How is it possible to lose that foam thing off the end of the camera? It just vanished. What did I say? During the meanwhilst. During the meanwhilst? No, no, no. Like that at all. Well, hello, it's Dexy and me, back on your YouTube with yet another fun-filled, action-packed video. Uh, this week it is the promised comparison between my Fujifilm... I'll just get them. My Fujifilm uh, GF 32 to 64 uh, millimeter zoom lens for the uh, GFX system and the 16 millimeter f1.4 prime lens for the X system. And now I'll, I'll put them down again because this is way heavy. Ah. Now, you might consider this to be a really strange uh, comparison, and you'd be absolutely right, it is. I mean, you're never going to go into a camera shop on one day and think, what shall I buy? Shall I buy that really expensive medium format zoom lens or shall I get the APS-C Prime? <laughs> it's something that uh, you're never gonna come across. So this is not a, uh, a sort of uh, consumer advice packed video, unlike my other really, really uh, concise consumer videos. Uh, no, the reason I made this one, is really to satisfy my own curiosity because the lenses are strangely similar in a number of ways. I mean, they're both made by Fujifilm. They're both black. Neither of them has OIS and they're both weather sealed. <laughs> but perhaps the most uh, telling similarity is that they both shoot at a sort of full frame, if you like, equivalent of around about 24 to 25 millimeters. So I wanted to see, could they produce the same results? I mean, the 32 to 64 is a zoom and the 16 is a prime. So the prime should be better, right? But then again, the 32 to 64 is on a medium format camera, right? So it's kind of like, you know, uh, I think an interesting comparison to make. And to make the comparison, I went down to uh, Bracelet Bay in Mumbles and shot uh, three images, uh, or six images in total, three with each camera. And I'll pop the uh, the raw files up now for you to have uh, to have a look at. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see whether the uh, two and a half times larger, two and a half times heavier, and two and a half times more expensive medium format lens really is two and a half times better than uh, its uh, little uh, cousin if you like. Now looking at the images on YouTube I mean I could stick a phone image up here and it's going to look exactly the same because they're compressed to you know a ridiculous level so you, you can't tell on YouTube so you are going to have to take my word for this I'm, I'm sorry but you can, I think you can trust me uh, now we, we, we've known each other long enough. Um, the images from the zoom, from the the, the medium format lens, they, they are they're better. I mean, uh, the resolution is better, uh, clearly, obviously, because it's on a 51 megapixel camera compared to a 26 megapixel camera. Uh, but the way the lens uh, resolves that detail, it's better on the medium format camera, I think, anyway. I've looked at the images uh, at 100 and 200 percent zoomed right in, and the medium format ones are better than the APS-C ones. But you would expect that. Uh, but they're not two and a half times better, and I think that is testimony to the quality of the 16 millimeter f 1.4. It is, after all, the holy grail of Fujifilm's X system lenses. It's the one that everybody says you have to get. And perhaps rather telling is the fact that the 16mm can do close-ups that the 32 to 64 simply cannot match. Um, regardless of resolution, uh, the 16mm is such a versatile lens. It really is. But take my word for it, the images coming out of the medium format camera are surprisingly uh, better. Shock horror. Um, 
£6,000 system beats £2,000 system. There we are. Um, for me, the medium format images, they just have, they have a certain look, uh, look to them. I said this before uh, when I've reviewed the GFX and, and the lenses. Um, they have a certain, a certain look, a certain quality, a, a difference if you like to um, APS-C or even full frame images. Um, they just, then they just look nicer. I don't know what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, a pixel peeper. I'm not an expert in this field. But to me, to my eyes, I know photography and art is subjective. They just, they just look better. Uh, and you will have to trust me on this. Uh, so if you do ever find yourself in the strange position of having to decide between uh, these lenses, uh, get both. <laughs> Uh, if you're lucky enough to be able to do so, uh, get both of them. Anyway, uh, that's it really for this really strange uh, comparison video. Uh, I don't know if anybody's watched this far to see what the conclusion is. If you have, really, you know, well done to you. Uh, if not, then uh, obviously, well, you hope won't be able to hear what I'm what I'm saying now. So it, it doesn't matter. I can say anything I want. Um, Anyway, next week's video is going to be, weather, weather permitting, uh, next week's video will be a review of my uh, new GoPro Hero 9 Black, uh, which I just bought uh, about two weeks ago now, and I'm loving it. Uh, that's not to spoil the upcoming review, but um, I'm loving shooting with it. And the week after that, with lockdown tightening and the prospect of me going into shielding again, I would imagine, uh, I'm going to look at recreating um, a Joseph Sudek still life image. Um, I don't know if any of you are fans of uh, Ted Forbes and the Art of Photography channel. Uh, really, you should be, to be honest, because it's, it's my favourite YouTube photography channel. Um, he looked at recreating one of Joseph Sudek's images earlier this year. Uh, I didn't do it at the time, and I figured I'll, I'll do it now, because uh, I've got time on my hands. Anyway, yeah, so that's it from Dexter and me for this week. Uh, I hope you found this <laughs> rather strange video in some way uh, useful or even mildly entertaining. Um, look after yourselves, stay healthy, stay COVID-free, look after your family and friends and loved ones, and Dexter and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye. Oh!